Welcome to another week of Empowerment Technology Subject. I'm your teacher, Shalami W. Pareha. For this week, our topic is all about ICT Project for Social Change. Again, for this week, our topic is all about ICT Project for Social Change. Social change in, involves alteration of the social order of society. It may include changes in social institution, social behaviors, or social relations. Collective behavior and social movements are just two of the forces driving social change, which is the which is the change in society created through social movements as well as external factors like environmental shifts or technological innovations. Here are the examples of social change. So we have here the reformation, the abolition of the transatlantic slave trade, the civil rights movement, the feminist movement, the LGBTQ plus rights movement, and the Green Movement. Essentially, any disruptive shifts in the status quo, be it international or random, human cause or natural, can lead to social change. And as I have mentioned, these are just the few examples of social change. So what causes social change? So let's talk about the cause of social change. So the first one is technology. It is a driving force behind globalization while the other forces of social change or social institution, population, and environment play comparatively minor roles. Technology can create change in other three forces social scientists links to social change. Advances in medical technology allow otherwise infertile women to bear children, which indirectly leads to an increase in population. Advances in agricultural technology have allowed us to genetically alter and patent food products which changes our environment in immarable ways. So other cause of social change is social institution. Social institution leads to changes in all social institutions. So for example, the industrialization of society meant that there was no longer a need for large family to produce enough manual labor to run a farm. Further, new job opportunities were in close proximity to urban centers where living space was at its premium. So the result is that the average family size shrunk significantly. Another cause of social change is population. Population composition is changing at every level of society. Births increases in one nation and decreases in another. Some families delays childbirth while others start bringing children into their folds early. Population change can be due to random external forces like epidemic or shifts in the social institution as describes a while ago. But regardless of what and how it happens, population trends have a tremendous interrelated impact on all the aspects of society. So we also known as modernization. Modernization describes the process that increased the amount of specialization and differentiation of structure in society, re resulting in the move from underdeveloped society to developed, technologically driven society, according to Irwin, 1975. By this definition, the level of modernity 
within a society is judged by the sophistication of its technology, particularly it relates to infrastructure, industry, and the like. So let's talk about social change project. The social change projects ask how social change is happening today and how we can strengthen civil society's effort. Change itself is constantly changing where it occurs, who's involved, who decides, how new ideas are generated, and what blocks it and what boosts it. ICT or Information Communication Technology can enable disadvantaged individuals and communities to participate in the national and global policy decision that can change their lives and empower them to take the action that can be financially, socially, and politically benefit them. So to have that, let's have you here planning a social campaign. So before starting a project or a campaign, you should be able to do necessary paperwork better than as known as concept paper. So this allows experts to see if your project is doable over the time frame that was given and if it is significant enough to make it into reality. So as I have said, Concept paper is a document used to convince a panel of potential funders to help a product, program, or service become a reality. A concept paper is a document used to convince panel to share also um, awareness and to help all our programs become reality. A concept paper has a five elements. So the five elements of concept paper are the following. Of course, it has introduction, which includes group's mission and vision and brief introduction of the project. Next is the purpose, which includes the reason why a project is worth in sponsor's time, effort, and money. Of course, the third element is the description, which includes all the necessary information about the project. The next, support, which contains the budget needed for the project. And lastly, the contact information, which includes information on how the authors can be contacted. So to simplify, the ICT project process overview, we have the following steps. So the first one is planning. It involves the conceptualization, research available data, setting deadlines and meetings, and also assigning people for various tasks, finding web hosts, and creating a site, listing all the application needed and funding. Next is the development. It involves the actual creation of the websites. It includes the production of image, infographics, and others. Next is the release and promotion, which involves the actual release of the website for public view and promoting it, which typically starts before the actual release. And lastly, maintenance, which involves responding to feedback of your website visitors and continuing to improve the websites. So now we know how to simplify our ICT project process. Let's proceed to guidelines for successful social change campaign. So to have it, let's follow the following. Um, let's have here the following. Uh, we already talked about the five elements of um, concept paper. Let's proceed to the guidelines for successful social change campaign so to have a successful so social um, change campaign we should follow some guidelines so here are the following guidelines first we have the community problem let's identify what problem are we going to focus on our social change campaign next the vicinity 
our campaign name, the type of social media used, website used, and then let's answer the following question. What will be the content of your social media site? Why did you choose the type of social media? And lastly, why did you choose that website? So here, uh, the following are the guidelines for successful social change campaign. Aside from that, there's a big role or impact of information communication technology in a recent history. So the first one is EDSA or the People Power Revolution. This event lasted from 1983 to 1986 during a radio broadcast of Radio Veritas. Also EDSA DOS. This is also known as 2000 when EDSA Revolution happened during January 17 to 21, 2001. And lastly, the Million People March. This is a series of protests that mainly took place in Luneta Park from August 22 to 26, 2016. It was to condemn the misuse of Priority Development Assistance Fund. So those were the roles of ICT in the recent history when we're talking about the social change. Now, let's proceed answering our learning activity worksheets for this week. So for this week, we have here first our activity number one. This is a multiple choice activity with 10 points. So directions, read each item carefully and choose the best answer. After activity one, let's proceed answering our next activity. That is activity two which is a matching type activity, which is also 10 points. Direction, read each item carefully and identify terms from column A to column B. Write the corresponding correct answer in the space provided in our um, hard copy that was given to you from our school. So you do not need to answer activity 3 and 4. So just answer activity 1 and activity 2. So thank you again for watching our video lesson this week. So do you have any questions or clarifications or tips on how we can improve our video lessons? Please send me an email, my contact number, and my Facebook account, and also my MS Teams account. Always remember to stay safe and happy learning to everyone. Again, thank you very much.